Hello, my name is Bob Chorley. Welcome to Filmlight Tutorials. In this series of tutorials, I will be covering the installation and operation of Baselight for Avid. This first tutorial explains how to install and activate the Baselight software on your Avid workstation. I'll be showing you how to do this on a Media Composer system, but the same procedure applies to Avid Symphony. First, I need to get hold of the software. This can be downloaded from the store section of our website. Here, you can choose to either purchase the software or you can download a trial version which will allow you to try out Baselight for Avid before you buy it. The trial version is exactly the same as the purchased version. It has the full set of features, it allows you to save all your grades and it doesn't add any watermarks to the image. However, the trial license will only run for 14 days, after which you will need to purchase a full license to continue using the software. When entering your details into the order form, please make sure that you include your correct email address, as this will be used to send you licensing and activation information. Once I've completed the order form, I can download the Baselight for Avid software by clicking on this link. However, before I do this, I'm just going to note down the license key here. If you forget to make a note of this, don't worry, because you'll also be sent it in an email to the address that you provided on the order form. While you're waiting for the software to download, you can take a look at the online tutorials or have a look at some of the other cool stuff on our website. OK, I've finished downloading the Baselight for Avid installer package and copied it onto my desktop. Inside the package, as well as the Baselight for Avid installer, we've also provided a copy of the user guide as well as the latest release notes. It's always worth having a quick look at the release notes as these will provide you with details of the latest features. You should also take a look at the install file before you go ahead and install the software as this contains important instructions and information about the system requirements. To install Baselight for Avid, first make sure that your Avid software is not running and then double click on this icon. Enter the password, and after a short while, it's done. You may have noticed that there's also an installer for TrueLight. TrueLight is our colour management system, which provides tools and lookup tables to convert images from one colour space to another, or to accurately simulate specific types of display. It can also be used to apply a specific look to your shots. TrueLight is incorporated into the Baselight Edition software, and can be used within Baselight for Avid. So I'm going to install TrueLight as well. OK, I've finished the installation, so I'll close this window and start Media Composer. Now I'll open a project. If I click on the Effects tab, I'll find Baselight in the Filmlight section up here. Now the Baselight software has not been activated yet. In order to do that, I need to open the plugin. So I'll first open a sequence and then add the Baselight effect onto one of the clips in the timeline. If I now go into Effect mode, I can open the Baselight effect by clicking on the button up here. You'll see that a window has popped up telling me that the Baselight license is missing or has expired. So to install the license, I need to enter the key which I copied down earlier or which was emailed to me. Once I've entered the correct key, the Activate button becomes available and when I click on it, after a few moments, Baselight should be activated and the user interface should appear. There we go. Now you can check the licensing information by clicking on the Baselight menu up here and selecting License. Now this activation method requires an internet connection as the Baselight software needs to communicate with our server. However, many systems do not have internet access so I'll show you an alternative method which will work if your Avid workstation cannot contact our server. I've removed the license and reinstalled the Baselight software, so I can now show you how to activate it without an internet connection. First, I need to open a sequence and apply the Baselight effect as before. 
I'll enter the serial number again, but rather than clicking on the Activate button, I need to make a note of the machine ID. Now I need to go to a computer which does have internet access. On this computer, I've opened a web browser and now I need to go to activate.filmlight.ltd.uk. On this page, I enter the serial number and the machine ID that I noted down earlier and then click on the Apply button. After a few moments, a license file is generated which I can download by clicking on this button. I'll copy this file onto a USB stick and go back to the Avid workstation. Now, in the Baselight license window, I click on the File button and I select the file that I downloaded on my other computer. As soon as the file is read, the Baselight software is activated and the user interface appears. If you have any problems installing or activating Baselight for Avid, please check the install document in the installer package you downloaded. You can also contact us for help by sending an email to pluginsupport at filmlight.ltd.uk. You can find out much more about Baselight for Avid by checking out the other tutorials on our website. Thanks for watching.